make us lose video games and selfies. Yeah, every once in a while they really take off. Hi, I am Matthew and I have a smart target here. It uses a Arduino and a little vibration sensor. So it's not really triggered by movement. I can even pick it up and carry it around. It won't go off. But if I hit it from there start. Beep for two seconds. And that about covers it. It's pretty sensitive, even weak darts will um, set it off, but I haven't yet to set it off accidentally from a non-dart hitting it. So pretty reliable in that regard. Probably make it into like a test mounted piece pretty easily. And other ideas for it would be to add like a seven segment digit display here, just so like one, two, three, four, and have that number go up and down as it gets hit, or as a color changing lead. So do we know anything you can program it can do. And that's it. Getting hit. Oh, oh, I'm out. Well, I'm just going to real quickly go over the details of what is comprising this. I've got Arduino trinket here, buzzer. Um, buzzer simple enough. When the pin goes high, buzzer buzzes. And in the back here, I have taped to this plate a vibration sensor. I think this is this, this um, slow model from Adafruit. And plate moves freely. Start hits it, vibrates, and goes off. Fairly simple and fairly effective. All right, go ahead. Uh, I'm cool, and this is my modified Centurion Strike. It's, a, it's got the Hellcats and a 3S LiPo. Nice. What's the significance of these guys right here? It's just a battery door I bought <laughs> off the eBay. Gotcha. Cool. So you have a, like a uh, Recon 2 yep. front barrel as well. Okay. All right, and this... This is, if people didn't know, is that an Alpha Trooper or an Elite Alpha Trooper? An uh, orange Alpha Trooper. Okay, so Elite. Go ahead. Uh, it's got a upgraded spring in it, mm -hmm. uh, re-lubed, and then a rough cut integrated into the front of it. Now, what did you use for the integration? Uh, epoxy not, putty. Not What's that? Epoxy putty. Epoxy putty. And what kind of paint did you cover it with after you're done? Uh, rust oleum. Something red. <laughs> okay, I'll wait for it. Like cherry red or deep red, something like that? Colonial red. Colonial red, gotcha. Now, is it work better with the rough cut prime or do you just like it better? Or <laughs> Just something you wanted to try? Yeah. It is very cool looking. What gave you the idea for it? Picture on the Nerf Discord. Cool. All right. Thank you. Hi, I'm Edmund, and this is my modified rapid strike. As you can see, it's got a, the top rail cut off, replaced with my own 3D printed design flat top Picatinny system. It's got the sharp teeth also filled with a type of Picatinny attachment, and the bottom battery case, eh, battery trays chopped off and also filled with Picatinny. So you're wondering probably where's the battery in this? It's in the stock. As you can see, there's a nice XT60 connector, and this, the battery. Eh, a nice 1000 milliamp hour battery can fit in the stock and you just connect them and use it until day's done and if you need to change it out just pull it out and put it in another stock uh, it's running it's, yeah, it's running three wolverines one is the pusher and two is the flywheels and it's also in the 3d printed bsp cage with some blast apart flywheels giving it a try it seems to be doing all right just uh pushes crashing a little probably the darts i'm using a little too worn but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, it's got an extended mag release because if you're running a rapid strike without one, it's kind of horrible. And my own 3D printed motor covers because it's pretty much a simple box.